Be inclusive. A woman is in a crowded movie theater. Unable to find enough side-by-side -side seats for her entire group, she finds herself looking for a seat alone. She says, I found myself making choices or rejecting a seat based on who might be on either side of me. Choices made about skin color, ethnicity, age, gender, and so on. At some point, a young couple saw me and invited me to join them. We had a wonderful time. Inclusion Inclusion is about removing barriers to participation. As leaders, we must create space where process, attitude, and behaviors that don't aid in the reaching of our goals are questioned. Physical barriers to participation like how, where, and at what time we meet need to be taken into account, especially for those with special need or transportation issues. Inclusion is not about lowering the bar, it is about asking the purpose of the bar and augmenting that bar if it in fact helps us reach our predetermined outcome. Inclusion is also about power. Power is the ability to get things done or to do work. What in our society allows people to get things What in our society allows people to get things done? Often money, political influence, acquisition of resources, or an appointed person are equated with power. However, many of us know individuals without huge political influence who have not accumulated large sums of wealth but use their power to change the world. So in conclusion, it is about how do we recognize the contributions of diverse voices, provide access to resources, provide decision-making process that affirms the individual and moves beyond tokenism. An inclusive approach would ask key questions that drive and influence group dynamics, performance, and growth. As you watch for moments to be inclusive, don't overlook yourself. Things to think about. How many people in my circle are just like me? How do we recruit new people into circles I am a part of? How do we build bridges to underserved population and resources that are mutually beneficial? How are we being proactive in recruitment, hiring, and advancing diverse populations? How are we developing pipelines for our succession plans? Things to do. Be self-critical. Save someone else the trouble of confronting you. Pay attention to your everyday actions. Be conscious on how bias is affecting what you do and what you don't do. Change your behavior. When you catch yourself in a biased action, Change course immediately and learn the lesson for good. Share your experiences. Be open with others about biased behavior. Let others hear what you've learned.